Hi there, this is Utkarsh Jain and the purpose of this short video presentation is to understand the M squared ratio. So you'd be looking at three major areas. Number one, why is it called M squared? Number two, what is this ratio all about? And number three, that what's the intuition behind the formula? I thought about this several times before one fine day I sat down on internet and Google for it. So the reason why it's called M squared is because of the gentleman on the left who's called Franco Modigliani the Nobel Award winner who received Nobel in 1985 and on the right hand side we have Leh Modigliani who is the uh, granddaughter of Franco. So both Franco and Leh presented this paper to uh, 1997 and therefore, they're called, therefore this formula is called as M squared formula. So originally when the formula was presented they call this uh, both Franco and Leh call this formula as risk adjusted performance. Risk adjusted performance and therefore at times this formula is also called as the RAP formula. Okay, so let's let's go back and understand that what was the need for coining of this formula. Okay, now uh, there is a particular ratio called Sharp ratio. Okay, what does Sharp ratio tell you? It says that return on a particular stock A, if you reduce the risk-free rate of return from it, so the numerator in a way becomes the risk premium that the stock has earned and if you divide that with standard deviation of that particular stock this number will tell you that how much is the rate of return earned for taking one unit of risk assuming that standard deviation being the total risk. So let's do a quick example to understand Sharpe ratio. Let us say that return on a particular market portfolio is 20%. Risk free rate of return is 10% and standard deviation of the market is 5%. So the whole intuition here is that how much extra markets have earned over and above RFR. So if you say 20 minus 10, the extra returns earned by the market is 10. But to earn that extra return of 10, how much extra risk they have taken? So they have taken risk of 5. Why extra risk? Because the risk for RFR must have been 0. So the fact that you've earned 20, you've earned 10 extra by taking risk of 5 and which will give us a sharp ratio of 2. Now meaning of this ratio is that we've earned a return of 2% per unit of extra risk taken or per unit of standard deviation. Now it's an excellent formula but of course what problem that we have is that if you see a sharp ratio which is minus 0.5 now the question is that how do you interpret this sharp ratio which is negative or if you see a sharp ratio which is minus 0.5 and you want to compare that with sharp ratio of 1.2 again the question is that how good is this stock compared to a sharp ratio of minus 0.5 it does not make sense and therefore both Franco and Leh presented a more improvised and sophisticated version of this formula which to which to whom they called RAP or risk adjusted performance which is today popularly called as M squared so let's look at this formula first the M squared measure would provide the same portfolio ranking as the Sharpe ratio but it would be stated in percentage terms. So the first look at this formula might give you an intuition that it looks like something which is complicated. Let's read through this. M squared is equal to return on portfolio P minus return on risk free security RF multiplied with sigma M standard deviation M divided by standard deviation of P minus again return on market minus return on risk free security. So what's the intuition behind this probably which best could be understood in terms of a uh, example. So let's say now we have a market portfolio here and this market portfolio has earned a return of 20%. We have a risk free security and the risk free return is 10% and standard deviation of the market let us say is 6. Now in the same fashion we have a specific portfolio of investment so let us say investors portfolio. Now invest in, invested into cert certain combination of assets which earned him a return let us call this as RP of 24% and again the risk free rate which is has to be constant of 10% and he's taken standard deviation of 7%. Now what if we calculate a sharp ratio here. 
sharp ratio is return on market 24 minus RFR 10 divided by standard deviation of 7 it will give us a sharp ratio of 2 meaning of which is that for per unit of risk we've earned excess return of 2 if we calculate sharp ratio for market portfolio it would say 20 minus 10 divided by 6 so which would be 10 divided by 6 which is slightly less than 2 now the same calculation we can do in the context of a m squared ratio okay. now the same formula that we saw on the previous scheme screen we are going to I'm going to write it in slightly different fashion now so here we will say sharp ratio of investors portfolio sharp ratio of investors portfolio this multiplied with standard deviation of the market minus market risk premium and market risk premium is of course return on market minus RFR so let's let's understand what intuition does it give us now sharp ratio of investors portfolio we just calculated it came out to be 2 so this number is 2 into standard deviation of the market which gives us 6 minus market risk premium how much markets have earned over and above RFR they've earned 10 and this will again give us a M squared ratio of 2 but now the unit of this is in percentage so what is this M squared ratio telling us that an investor earned for taking one unit of risk it earned two extra two percentage return so market has taken total risk of how much six so then in that case by the standard which is set by the portfolio of the investor that uh, you should earn an extra return of 2% per unit of risk the total return that market should have earned was 12% but then markets have earned extra return of only 10% and therefore on a risk adjusted basis your portfolio has earned an excess return of 2% so now if you just want to cross check this intuition if you take this 2% and add to the return of market which would make this as 22% and then you calculate a sharp ratio it would say 22 which is return on market minus 10 divided by 6 which is 2 so a simple meaning of this number is that how much markets have earned less compared to your performance on a risk adjusted basis this is Utkarjan thank you very much for your time